guys welcome back to fly chick tv as y'all can see i'm in my medical gear you know almost graduating it's been a couple days oh i'm not trying to get copyright so let me go a little further away from the music but welcome to fly chick tv you guys lifestyle beauty and vlogs and travel vlogs and so much more so if you are new to my channel thank you for tuning in to your girl fly chick tv see you so you guys, currently, I'm at the store waiting to pick up my prescription. Your girl has been gaining weight and I don't like it. And I'm at 200 and I'm not ashamed to say that because my weight does fluctuate. So I finally decided that I'm gonna take the necessary steps to lose weight and stick to it because this 200 going up is not for me. I've, I'm really at my heaviest right now and i do not like it and i need to change that so i am incorporating fruits and i will be doing a i will be doing a um meal prep very soon y'all just give me a couple days a couple weeks maybe a month to start meal prepping but i know you guys missed my lovely face haven't been out here in a while haven't recorded in a while since my re by remedy i said re by I'm over here messing up this girl's information. Remedy by Ari Makeup Review. I haven't posted in about two weeks now. And I need to post. So you guys are going to get a little vloggy vlog from me this week. And a little update on my experience as an extern student. Have a month away from graduation. We're literally going into February in about two days. Two to three days. And I'm so excited for the next couple months because it's a lot of good things happening. But you guys, so let me just give y'all a rundown. Currently, I am at a site, which a site is basically a hospital or a clinic or a primary care. And I'm doing my externship, which is my exit program. The requirements is 180 hours, Monday through Friday, or if you're doing urgent care, three days out of the week. Well, it depends. Because we are students, we cannot fully work. We can work an eight-hour shift, but we can't work past that in a day. So, your girl has been doing that for about a week now. It has been a little challenging learning the system. Um, honestly, but it's not that hard. As long as you study what you studied in school, you'll be in the right direction and studying on your own. So, let me just give you all a rundown. down. In order to become a medical assistant, for anybody who is interested, First, you need to apply to a school. It can be an accelerated program or a two-year program. And in that two-year program, you will learn how to be a medical assistant. But me, I would honestly advise to do the accelerated. It is a lot time-consuming, but it's better to do the accelerated so you can get done faster and start working as soon as possible, which that's what I decided to do, is do the nine-month program at the school that I went to. I will list a couple of schools below in this vlog so you guys can see which one is your preference. But I am not in, I'm in the East Coast area, so the schools will be different. But I don't know what you guys will have in other states. But it's awesome. It's an awesome program. I've learned a lot and I'm just ready to get to this bag, okay? And let me tell y'all, there's money to be made in the medical field. I've known this for years, just never took it serious because my goals a few years ago were totally different than what they are now but i'm a lot older now and i've matured and i know what i need to do period so as a medical assistant you will basically be um charting the patients taking their vitals checking their pulse checking for symptoms asking them what they come in for but you will never give medical advice you won't ever do that the doctor is the one to give medical advice and diagnose the patient. That's all you have to do and you need to know how to take blood draws, which is taking blood from a patient's arm. And you also need to learn how to do injections in the subcut and the intramuscular part of the arm. That's it. It's not hard, it's not rocket science. 
It's really simple. And if you're scared of blood, this ain't for you. But medical assistant is just a stepping stone for me because as y'all know in my last vlog about my medical assistant journey, I said I want to go back and get my bachelor's in healthcare management. So I'm not gonna really be on, I'm gonna be doing medical assistant for a while, maybe like three to four years while I'm in school to finish my bachelor's and then I'm gonna up and get my master's. So you guys, healthcare is really important. I think it's a good field for me. Starting out, I like this pace because I'm not heavily in patient care. I am, but I'm not. I'm not dealing with medications. I'm not dealing with um, giving patients medication. I'm giving injections when I do get hired onto my site, if I do, or anywhere else. So it's very easy, honestly, like, let me put y'all up right here while I wait to get my medicine. So honestly, like I said, it's really a good job. Like, the money's decent. When you start out, you're not gonna make a too much because you're a new MA, but there's other opportunities out there, such as traveling as a medical assistant. And when you travel as a medical assistant, you make bankroll. Like, I ain't finna talk numbers on here or nothing like that, but you gonna make at least maybe like 16,000 your first assignment. But mind you, it depends on what company you get. So if you go with like Ava Healthcare or these other agencies, you have to check for housing because you have to pay for your own housing or they can ha they can handle your housing if you do not want to pay with that, pay for housing through the money that you get as a travel MA. But when you are travel MA, you need about one year of experience. That one year of experience can get you paid 1500 and up. So yeah, there's money to be made in your girl. Give me that one year this year. Work, 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 work. Content, content, content. But after 20 and 24, I will be traveling and I will be getting that bag. Okay? Check me back in 2024, March. That money finna come in, baby. And I ain't playing because I got a lot of goals. I got a lot of things I want to accomplish. And I'm excited to get my bag up. And I got some exciting news for y'all, but I'm not going to announce that just yet because it's not ready. But just know some things is popping off and some things that's been happening y'all finna be mind blown okay so if you want to become a medical assistant i got an apple y'all because i'm going to eat before i take my medicine oh look at my cute bag y'all y'all see my little nike bag it's so cute i got this yesterday at the nike outlet and and i got a pair of pink sneakers that i'm gonna wear later on but not right now Ooh, that noise excuse the noise but um yeah girl is just excited because i got this bag for 14 dollars mind you the original price was 20 i always get deals like it was originally 25 dollars and i got it for 14.99 baby let's go like what and i got my sneakers for 100 yeah i ball on a budget <laughs> don't come for me oh i need some uh space scrubs let me see what y'all got over here Y'all comment below. Do y'all use this product right here? This vitamin C? I don't know why my camera does not focus. Like it really be bugging me. Let me see. Let me get this camera to focus. Y'all see that? My camera just blurry. I need to take this to Best Buy. Cause I don't understand why my camera don't be focusing, but let me just back out of the camera. Y'all see that vitamin C? I want to try that. I, I've tried it before. It was okay, but I didn't really like it. I feel like I can make my own scrub better than that. It don't really do nothing for me, but I do use the Dove scrub. And do y'all want a feminine hygiene video? Because I can do one. I'm thinking about doing a coming to a store like Kroger, Mar Myers, or you know Walmart and doing some stuff for like feminine hygiene. I know a lot of women do use wipes, which I feel like I should start trying to use some wipes to see how I like the feeling instead of using like toilet paper. I'm just old school, but it's 2023. I gotta kinda change some of my ways. But I do like this honey pot. I did use it a while ago, but I did stop using it because I heard they changed the formula on this wipe. All right, y'all, I had to untap my screen because 
it was blurry and I did not understand why and I just cleaned it off and it looks a lot better so this is honey pot you guys y'all see how my camera does not focus I really need to take it to Best Buy and have them look at it because I don't understand what is going on it's literally blurry I don't know if I changed something in my settings or what let me see you guys I'm gonna do a hygiene video for y'all for the ladies and for the youngins I don't really use too much stuff down there because I just feel like it's not necessary to over saturate your lady parts with too much stuff that is store bought so I'll show y'all what I do um, but yeah you guys I'm just gonna end it right here because it's time for me to get my weight loss supplement so when I get it I'll get back to you guys and that's basically all I had to say about medical assistant I'll go a little bit more into detail one more thing I cannot record while I am in my medical assistant site because it's against the policy at my hospital so y'all will not really be getting too many videos about me actually working in there because it's not allowed and I'm not about to jeopardize my financial stability to record and get fired so you guys will really just get like me talking about my experience more than seeing what I'm doing on a daily basis. So I'll see you guys later and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.